Welcome to Next Level Intel. Let's say that you forgot to insert one of your employees' names for a product that they sold into your spreadsheet. Well, today we're going to show you how to put in brand new columns and rows into Microsoft Excel to help make your job a little bit easier. <laughs> So we've got a workbook open on our desktop. Now we're going to click and highlight cell A4, and we're going to go all the way down to cell N14. Some people would want to cut and paste to add an extra row, but we're going to show you a much easier way to do this. Now all you have to do is go over and highlight and right click any row, click insert, and you've got a brand new row. It would be the same concept for columns. Go to any column you'd like, right click, insert, and you've got a brand new column. Now if you would like to undo this, you could typically go up to the undo button up here at the top left, but I find it a little bit easier to just hit Control Z. We're gonna do Control Z one more time to get rid of that row. Another way that you can add new columns and rows, just make sure that you're on the home tab. You would go over to the right hand side of the screen in the cells groupings. You would click the drop down arrow and you would go to insert sheet rows and it would insert a brand new row above the row that you already had highlighted. And the same concept for the columns. You'd go back over to insert, insert sheet columns, and then it would also add a new column to the left of that. So it would push all the rest of the data to the right side of the screen. And of course, if you'd like to delete some of the rows or columns that you've created, just go over to the delete button and just click delete. And we also have some shortcuts up here in the top left-hand corner. We will show you in a future video how to insert some of those shortcuts yourself. But we just wanted to let you know that there is another option for inserting columns and rows. We're going to go ahead and insert a brand new column right here. And then we're going to delete row six. You have to highlight over the number six. And then you can go back up to our shortcut commands and hit delete. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's episode. We're hoping you're learning a whole lot more about Microsoft Excel. And a big thanks to Next Level Intel for allowing me to be a special guest on today's episode. If you're interested in some Nintendo gaming videos, you can check me out at www.youtube.com slash thegaminggoomba1. And if you would like to test out your skills on Microsoft Excel, you can check out our brand new quiz on nextlevelintel.com. Happy learning and God bless.